So I did um, Rape Joke by Patricia Lockwood. I'm going to start off by saying this does mention some very um, triggering content. Um, it mentions sexual abuse, so if you're not okay with that, I wouldn't recommend listening to the poem. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it. It is a kind of long poem, so I just kind of bear with it. Um, the rape joke is that you are 19 years old. The rape joke is that he was your boyfriend. The rape joke is he wore a goatee, a goatee. Imagine the rape joke looking in the mirror, perfectly reflecting back itself and grooming itself to look more like a rape joke. Ah, it thinks. Yes, a goatee. No offense. The rape joke is that he was seven years older. The rape joke is that you had known him for years since you were too young to be interested in him. You liked that he used the word interesting as if you were a piece of knowledge that someone could be desperate to acquire to assimilate and to spit back out in a different form through its goateed mouth. Then suddenly you were older, but not very old at all. The rape joke is that you had been get, you have been drinking wine coolers. Wine coolers. Who drinks wine coolers? People who get raped according to the rape joke. The rape joke is that he was a bouncer and kept people out for a living, not you. The rape joke is that he carried a knife and would show it to you and would return and turn it over and over in his hands as if it were a book. He wasn't threatening you. You understood. He just really liked his knife. The rape joke is he once almost murdered a dude by throwing him through a plate glass window. The next day he told you and he was trembling, which you took as evidence of his sensitivity. How can a piece of knowledge be so stupid? But of course, you were so stupid. The rape joke is that sometimes he would tell you you were going on a date and then you would he would take you over to his best friend's Pee-wee's house and make you watch wrestling while they all got high. The rape joke is that his best friend's name was Pee-wee. Okay, the rape joke is that he worshipped The Rock. Like the dude was completely in love with The Rock. He thought it was so great what he could do with his eyebrow. The rape joke is that he called wrestling a soap opera for men. Men love drama too. The rape joke is that his bookshelf was just a row of paperback paperbacks about serial killers. You mistook this interest in history and laboring under his misapprehension, you once gave him a copy of Gunter Grass's My Century, which he never even tried to read. It gets funnier. The rape joke is that he kept a diary. I wonder if he wrote about the rape in it. The rape joke is that you want, you read it once and he talked about another girl. He called her Miss Geography and said he didn't have those urges when he looked at her anymore, not since he met you. Close call, Miss Geography. The rape joke is that he was your father's high school student. Your father taught world religion. You helped him clean out his classroom at the end of the year and he let you take home the most beat up textbooks. The rape joke is that he knew you when you were 12 years old. He once helped your family move two states over and you drove from Cincinnati to St. Louis with him all by yourselves. And he was kind to you and talked to you the whole day. He had chaw in his mouth the entire time and told you he, and told him he was disgusting and he laughed and spat the juice through the, his goatee into a Mountain Dew bottle. The rape joke is that, come on, you should have seen it coming. This rape joke is practically writing itself. The rape joke is that you were face down. The rape joke is that you were wearing a pretty green necklace that your sister had made for you. Later, you cut that necklace up. The mattress felt a specific way, and your mouth felt a specific way open against it, as if you were speaking, but you know you were not. As if your mouth was open ten years into the future, reciting a poem called Rape Joke. The rape joke is that time is different, becomes more horrible and more habitable, and accommodates your need to go deeper into it. Just like the body, which more than concrete form is a capacity, you know the body of time's elastic, can take almost anything you give and heals quickly. The rape joke is that, of course, there was blood, which in human beings is so close to the surface. The rape joke is that you went home like nothing had happened, and laughed about it the next day and the day after that, and when you told people you laughed, and that was the rape joke. It was a year before you told your parents because he was like a son to them. The rape joke is that when you told your father, he made the sign of the cross over you and said, I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, which even is totally wrong headedness was so completely sweet. The rape joke is that you were crazy for the next five five years and had to move cities and had to move states and whole days went down into a sinkhole of thinking about why it happened like you went to look at your backyard and suddenly it wasn't there and you were looking down into the center of the earth which played the same red event perpetually the rape joke is that after a while you weren't crazy anymore but close call mysteriography 
The rape joke is that for the next five years, all you did was write, and never about yourself, about anything else, about apples on the tree, about islands, dead poets, and the worms that aerated them, and there was no warm body in, the, in what you wrote, it was elsewhere. The rape joke is that this is finally artless. The rape joke is that you do not write artlessly. The rape joke is that you wrote a poem called Rape Joke, and you ask, and you're asking for it to be the only thing people remember about you. The rape joke is that you asked why he did it. The rape joke is he said he didn't know, like what else would a rape joke say? The rape joke said you were the one who was drunk, and rape joke said you were remembering it wrong, which made you laugh out loud for one split sec open second. The wine coolers weren't Bartles and James, but it would have been funnier for the rape joke if they were. It was some pussy flavor like passionate mango or destroyed strawberry, which you drank down without question and trustingly in the heart of Cincinnati, Ohio. Can rape jokes be funny at all is the question. Can any part of this rape joke be funny? The part where it ends. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Though you did dream of it killing the rape joke for years, spilling all of its blood and telling it that way. The rape joke cries out for the right to be told. The rape joke is that this is how it happened. The rape joke is that next day he gave you pet sounds. No, really, pet sounds. He said he was sorry and then he gave you pet sounds. Come on, that's a little bit funny. Admit it. So... After reading it, these are my annotations I did. Um, in the red, it is where the poet used repetition and in some cases where this very first part of the sentence um, is the same repeated line, the rape joke, um, that's called anaphora. Um, so the poet did that a couple times throughout the poem. Um, in the yellow, I have imagery. So right here, this would be a piece of um, a simile because she is comparing um, knowledge to a person. She's saying she is a piece of knowledge, which she's actually not. Um, and then uh, underlined, which I forgot to underline it there, but where she talks about, let me find it, I'm sorry, um, close commas geography, and then she does it again down here um, later on in the poem. Um, all of these things really help the message of the poem, which I'm going to talk about right here, um, its structured message. The poem contains 45 stanzas, but they're not consistent. Some only have one line, some consist of seven lines. Uh, the rhyme scheme also varies. There's not a rhyme scheme at all. Um, and the syllable count also varies because, like I said before, um, one stanza has one line, one stanza has seven. Um, so overall, the amount of stanzas, the variable and rhyme scheme and the variability and syllable count, this all kind of shows how uneasy the reader can feel um, while reading this. If it was structured um, in a very pattern, it really wouldn't make the reader uneasy like it does with this. Um, the speaker is a girl who is speaking about her traumatic event um, in her life from 10 years ago. And the overall message from this poem is to make readers aware of the struggles that sexual abuse survivors have to go through. Um, Lockwood, which is the poet of this um, poem, uses a very sarcastic tone to make this clear. Um, she's using dry humor about something that's very serious that people have to go through. And I think she does it very well. Um, but I think that's all I have. So, thank you.